Man, they're sweet. <laughs> Today I'm going to get into installing the Big League Striper on my Toro Time Master 30. Let's get into it because I want to get out there and mow today. So here's the entire kit. If you've ever wondered, the brackets are beefy. Beefy. On this thing. And it is built really well. So I have the same thing for my Aaron's XD. And I'd say that probably is a good, I think that's gotta be at least a good 30, 30, 40 pounds. That should roll really nice once I get it on the back of the Time Master. All right, for step one of this install, I pulled up the directions. And it actually looks very similar to what you do on most lawn tractors and zero turns. And so, this will actually be a pretty easy install, I think. Let's get it on there, it shouldn't take long. A few moments later. On the side of your Time Master, you have an existing hole here. So you just take that bolt, and you put it right through the hole. Go until it starts to tighten up. I don't think I can get this over it. I'm gonna have to do it this way. Turn, turn, turn. So that side is installed. So I'm gonna hop over to the other side and right there's the pre-existing hole. Taking the bolt, putting it through. That can't be any easier, folks. All right, so just like the other side, you can see there's the locking nut. Comes all the way through. To the bracket on that side. So at this point, all I need to do is attach the big league striper. All right, so what I've learned in previous experience, I wanna put this bracket on first. So just unlock the bolt. And I'm not gonna make them super tight, but you definitely want to start them so that you can slide them where they need to go. So I'm just gonna do a hand, hand tight so I can still move the bracket around the rail as needed. Then the other side, just gonna put the bracket on there loosely at this point. I just line up the bracket holes right there and that should be it. So let's run the bolts through a locking washer and a locking nylon nut. Before I lock these bolts down, I'm going to go ahead and lock the brackets down. I know they basically are going to the outside edge like that and lock it down. So that bracket won't move. Same thing with the other side, just lock it down. Now that's not gonna move. And then just line them up with my brackets again. Bolt, bolt, locking washer, and nylon nut. There's one, there's two. There's, there's three. And number four. And so all I need to really do now is tighten these down. Tight. Tight. going anywhere and now do the other side all right just finished getting it installed let's check it out Yeah, it looks pretty good on there. Rolls backwards really well. Yeah, 
That thing's gonna strike great. All right, I just finished the first mow after installing the big leak striper. And I gotta show you this. It looks sweet. Check it out. If you like what I'm up to, make sure to hit subscribe, hit that like button. Otherwise, Barbie Dad is out.